Why did you refuse border border men on the expressway? Because um, it is also a mode of transport. Number two, there are people who own bikes but are not necessarily border border people. Hey, I see washing. Mm, they are washing, washing the road. The road. There are motorcycles that are allowed, but specifically our border borders in Uganda are below 400 cc. Hey. 400 cc and above, they can, uh, yes, they are allowed because they, they move at a higher speed, more than even most of the cars. Oh, like these BMWs, the Kunamas, we call them Kunamas. Yes, and you know, uh, the expressway speed is 100 kilometers per hour. So if we get our border borders, they will not... Uh, they will not manage they will that. Not manage there will be so many accidents. Yeah. Yes, there will be so many accidents and uh, being unaware that there is a car coming behind you, uh, going to the airport, they are rushing, and then the border is in the way. And then they want to stop ho here so that the person jumps. Yes. The other we side. have no stopovers. That's why even the towing on the road is done by us. Because whatever is happening to you, we need to know and get you out of the way as soon as possible. You know what, Joy? I'll tell you. I'm one of the Ugandans who was like, these people are so discriminatory. But they say, Bakatia, Tebafa Kuba border border. Kumbe, it's a, it's a technical thing. Yes. I didn't know that. Even bicycles and pedestrians, now if, if you're out of the car and you're walking, you're not supposed to be on the, walking on the expressway. Man, that makes so that's much sense. Interesting. We've seen these videos circulating on social media, somewhere even pasted from other countries, <laughs> just to <laughs> emphasize the point that there's traffic jam on the expressway. Now, if there's traffic jam on the expressway, that, is that an expressway? Actually, it's not an expressway. We mm. don't have traffic jam on the expressway. Mm. The small time when we have that hold up, Ah, they're calling it a hold up. <laughs> because it is a very short time. Okay. Traffic jam in Kampala, how long does it take, Brian? Some of us time. leave home at 5, go back at 10. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But, but for us, one. it is a hold up uh, for like 10 minutes. Mm. And that only happens when the president is passing. You know, we don't have exit routes on the expressway. And the little time he passes, he doesn't pass on a daily or what. But the time he's passing, it's a security issue. We have to hold up the cars for a certain time. And he will cruise and pass. Yeah. And in seconds, we've already opened. As soon as he passes like this, yeah. we open. It's obviously because he's home. Yes. The state house is inside. Yes. Name, Mama. Is this what we are going to go through the rest of our lives? No, on no, 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 no. It is, it is actually uh, for a short time. Even as... In the other ones where we don't pay, they close the roads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a matter of security and we just have to understand that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. For more information, please visit www.kee.go.ug or call our toll-free line 0800 270 170.